Hello! Today we wanted to do a little bit of review. Um, we just got our new Roughwear Webmaster harnesses in for both pups. Um, nowhere we affiliated or sponsored by them. Um, we heard some fabulous things about them and really wanted to give them a shot. So um, today we're going to make sure they fit. And if they fit, we're going to take them out and give them a try. And since Jezebel's already in here, we are going to do hers first. Um, Jezebel, after measuring her size, was a medium. Hey, stay here. Can you lie down for a minute? Um, so we're going to unsnap the buckles. And they suggest loosening these up as much as possible. They have these cool little things that actually the extra pieces are kind of hidden in, which keeps them from dangling when they're walking about, which is nice. And I think I just lost my model. <laughs> Jezebel! So we're going to loosen these first. We debated a lot between the Rockwear Webmaster, which is what we got, and then the Webmaster Pro. Um, the Webmaster Pro, instead of having any plastic hardware, has metal hardware, um, which obviously is a little safer than the plastic, um, but it also does not have the easy clasp. So these ones, once you get around the dog, you can just clasp on and then clasp off. Um, the Webmaster, you actually have to use the slides to tighten every single time, tighten and untighten every time you take them on and off, um, which as I guess as often as we take them, I didn't really want to have to fuss with that. Um, their normal webmaster has gotten great reviews. I've never heard of any of their plastic failing. They've got pretty heavy duty plastic, so I'm not really worried about these breaking. Um, so that's why we ended up going with these. So I think I'll just send them a chest strap. I'll just send these chest straps. All right. Jezebel, come here. I left the tags on because just in case they don't fit, I'd like to be able to return them. Hey, come here. Hi, hi, come here. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do it this way. Come over here. Come on, come on. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And come here. Good girl. <laughs> All right. So this one just goes over their head. Was that horrible? Pull our collar through. So like that. And then we're gonna put one paw through here. You look thrilled. <laughs> and then I'm gonna bring you. Come on. <laughs> and then that's when we get the snaps. Mom's not doing a very good job. We got one snap. And the second snap. Now that both snaps are snapped, you can tighten them. Hi. Did I pull your hair by accident? I'm sorry. Sure, we're not tightening it too much. You have a lot of fur. Right? And then this one. There we go. It's not so easy with a very hairy dog. I'm trying not to pull her hair while tightening these. extra straps you can tuck in those little pockets that I pulled them out of originally. Without trying to tuck her hair in. <laughs> Alright. There we go. And these 
ones actually I don't think I need to tighten at all. What do you say? What do you say? Is it comfortable? Seems like it fits okay. Right? Still like these because these straps don't come too close to their armpits. Um, it's one of the reasons why I, I like their other harnesses that we normally wear. Because um, some harnesses will pull forward and actually ride inside the armpit and cause chafing. Um, but this one still seems to sit back far enough that on long hikes it's not going to cause any chafing. Um, this all seems pretty good, not too tight. What do you think? Is it horrible? Is it great? She doesn't seem to mind. <laughs> okay. Let's go get Selena B. So... Celine has the small version. I was a little worried because we ended up getting black for both of them. Um, I have to see the only, one of the only downsides with the Webmaster harness is the lack of color options. Um, not that many people care about it. Um, I kind of tend to be very, I don't know what you'd say. I like to color coordinate them. Celine tends to be pink with all of her accessories and Jezebel tends to have purple. Um, they only had blue, this black color, and uh, red. Um, I didn't really like the blue, and blue reminds me of boy dogs too much. Oh, thank you. You're going to be next. Um, you want to come here? And uh, the red was okay. I did like the red, um, but they both sometimes like to roll and stuff when we're on hikes, so the black will hide the dirt a little bit. I was a little worried about getting them both kind of mixed up, because um, the medium and the small are pretty close in size, but they actually have, if I unsnap her snaps, on the inside, this pretty cool thing. They both say what size they are and have a spot for you can actually write their, it says trail name, <laughs> um, but you can actually write their name and their phone number on the inside, so that's pretty cool. So we unsnap Celine's. We're going to loosen hers up. Just by taking these out, these are you just want to play. That's all you want to do. You just want to play, don't you? <laughs> and now that I have your toy, all right, we're gonna put your toy over here, though. All right. So, you want to here? Thank you. So, same thing, we just slide this over their head. Pull her collar out. And then, hey, come over here. Come over here. Let's go. Come on. Thank you. Come over here. Come over here. Very good. We're going to be a good little model. <laughs> All right. So, slid it over her head. Oh, we probably should do that side first, huh? And same thing like Jezebel. This paw comes up through here. And then we can do all the snaps. Now, I their other harness, which is the Julius K9 harness, I still really like those harnesses. I will still probably continue to use those harnesses. Um, these ones are going to be on a lot of our major hikes. Um... We had an incident where Celine actually slipped out of her Julius K9 harness. I thought it was pretty escape proof, and for the most part it is. Um, Jezebel's actually really good at escaping harnesses and she's never escaped it before. It was kind of just a series of bad events where Celine went rolling on the ground and actually rolled off the edge of a bluff. And I think the rolling and with the rolling and gravity pulling, it just kind of pulled it over her head. Um, she ended up obviously being okay because my hubby saved her if I jumped on her and ended up being okay. But the reason it slipped is because the Julia's K9 harness has like these front straps like this one does, as well as this one belly strap, but with enough force, you can still kind of pull that over. The reason we like these is they have this third strap and with this third strap tightened, it actually comes behind the rib cage. So the only way this could actually pull off the dog if you have it tightened correctly is, I mean, honestly, you'd have to break part of the rib cage um, just because of the amount of girth down here. You can't actually just pull it over them. This was easy to pull over their head, but this part will not. So for a lot of our 
actual hiking hiking, this is the harness that we're going to use. Um, so we thank Ruffwear for a very safe harness because I think it's going to be exactly what we thought. So I'm just trying to tuck these things in here again, which again with a hairy dog is not the easiest thing because I'm trying not to pull her hair while tucking it in there. And then this one could be tightened a little bit. Um, once these are kind of a pain to tighten and untighten, but once you have them fitted, um, all you'll have to do is release the clasp, put it on and off. Um, it's one of the reasons why we didn't want to go with the Webmaster Pro, um, because they only have these metal slip pieces for tightening and untightening. You would have to do this every time. And obviously I'm not the greatest at this because it's taking me forever. Luckily you're a very good model. So we're just gonna keep and there might be an easier way that I'm just not doing this right. So such a good model Celine <laughs> and again I don't want it so tight especially because a lot of our hiking hiking is quite a few miles um, I think the longest we've taken was a 12 mile hike so I don't want it super tight that it's uncomfortable but I do want it tight enough that she's obviously not going to slip out of it either so we're going to tuck the extra strap in the little thing maybe and I think we're good. Like I said, this front strap doesn't have to be super tight. Um, as long as this one's pretty tight, it ain't really escaping. Um, I don't really think I have to mess with the chest straps too much. Uh, maybe a little bit. And this one, if the chest is loose, hey, you sit. Sling, sit. Thank you. Um, so here you just have, this one actually goes across the bottom of the belly. And then these ones come across the top. What do you think? Is it a good harness? Do you like it? Like, I don't care, Mom. <laughs> so, again, it's still a very good harness. Um, it has a very nice handle. You can go this way. So if you have to pick your dog up on a hike or have to lift them over a river or over some other obstacle, you have that handle. Um, the handle is also good for control if, I don't know, if your dog's very prey motivated and you see a deer. <laughs> um, sometimes grabbing this is a lot easier because our other harnesses had handles as well. But sometimes this is, gives you a lot more control than just holding onto the leash. Um, this one has two different leash attachments. Can you come here? Um, one on the back of the harness and then one on the front of the harness. Um, other than that, I think that's all there is to it. So we are actually going to get ready to go. We are going to go take them on, well, I'm going to go take them on a little walk hike. <laughs> I wouldn't call it much of a hike, but we're going to probably go up to the local state park and try them out for the first time and see how they go.